The Iceman is on fire. But is Erling Haaland the best striker we have seen in the Premier League? Are we witnessing something that may never be seen again? 03717 You can text us as well on 81089. Unbelievable Erling Haaland. By the way, I'm Hugh Wizencroft alongside uh, the former Liverpool winger Jermaine Pennant. He is... I mean, he's just incredible. Seven goals in three games. I mean, he's outscored every other team in the Premier League on his own. Uh, he scored more goals in three games than any player managed for either Burnley or Sheffield United in all of last season. Uh, he's scored more than 51 of the 72 EFL teams. They've all played a game more than he has as well. And he's equaled a 30-year-old record, becoming the first player since Paul Jewell for Bradford City in 94-95 to score two hat-tricks in a club's opening three games. But is he the best Premier League striker we have ever seen? It's a tough... <laughs> look, look, he's the most prolific striker we've ever seen, without a shadow of a doubt. 69, uh, 69 goals, 70 appearances for Manchester City. That is outrageous. That's the kind of numbers you get when you cheat and you play championship manager and you put him on 20. Every stat he's got is just 20. Mm. But yes, so he's, he's the most prolific. Is he the best striker player we've seen? All, ra- all round, you mean? I wouldn't say so. I would say Aguero, probably Henri. As a player, what they produce, not only, you know, dropping off assist the way they play going past players you know hold up play I think there's better plays in that area than Haaland Haaland can maybe have six touches in the game but the whole 90 minutes but he's come off the pitch with an at-trick so he is the most prolific striker out there but player I would have to but can you argue the point though if he's scoring goals left right and centre what's the striker's job at the end of the day it's to score goals it is. But 70 goals, 19 assists, by the way. 19 assists and 70 goals in 69 Premier League games. He's got eight hat-tricks now in his 69 games. Uh, the record is 12 from Sergio Aguero. That took 275 games. Shearer has 11, 441 games. Fowler just ahead of him on nine, 379 games to get there. It is unbelievable. I mean, he's level with Thierry Henry, 258 games. He's taken 69 that is something that we have absolutely never seen before. The only thing I'd say about Erling St- uh, uh, Haaland, just, sorry, just to interrupt you there, is on your point around all-round player, I think it has been some time that we've seen any player in the Premier League who only has to do one thing. Mm. He's so good at that one thing. He's incredible at that one thing. But he basically runs behind and smashes the ball in the back of the net. Yeah, he scores different types of goals. But his entire game is based around getting into that penalty area and scoring goals. He does it brilliantly. Wonderful left foot. But even as a, a striker that plays up front on their own, since the days of Didier Drogba, we were asking strikers that played up front to be much more of an all-round player. Can you hold it up? Can you bring other players into the game? Can you link play? You know, f- Can your team play through you, if you like, as, as a number 10 when you drop deep? All of those things. We, we talked about the way that Harry Kane's been able to do that in the last five years and stuff like that. You know, we were asking a lot from a player who played up front on their own. And Drogba, I think, was the first one that showed us what an all-round centre-forward can do. He did he did everything at an 8 out of 10. You know, Haaland, for me, doesn't do that. He does goal-scoring at a 20 out of 10. Even goalkeepers in the Premier League need to do more now than just stop the ball from going in the back of the net. We're like, yeah, he's a shot stopper, but can he pass it? You see what I mean? Oh. Every player is being asked to do multiple things. Oh, yeah, you're a right back, but you can't just defend. You've got to get forward and set up goals. Everyone has multiple facets to their game that we expect from players in the Premier League. And it's, we expect a striker to have all of those multiple facets as well, not just score goals. And yet for him, because he's so good at scoring goals... It just doesn't seem to matter. No, it doesn't. Like I said, the only way, any time he's in that box and the ball's near him, he just lets off that left that left foot rocket and he seems to go in the back of the net. But what I'm saying is, if you've got a one-on-one and someone says to me, who do you want? Thierry Henry, Aguero, Torres or Haaland going one-on-one, Haaland would be low. It would be low going on, who I'd want going one on one against, just say against Virgil van Dijk, one of the best defenders mm. in the world. I'd probably put Haaland, you know, last. 
I put, I put him actually I put him out of Torres but what we're saying is is that as a striker all he's done to score goals but as a player with the ability to go past defenders like we've seen strikers in the past he's not up there on that level but as a goal scorer he is there's no one close to him uh, have big teams the really the, the best teams around maybe worked out if, just if how he, to handle him as well a little bit he didn't score in the three games against Arsenal last year he didn't score in the two games versus Real Madrid in the in the Champions League he isn't having the success in the big finals that we might expect Erling Haaland to have as well is it just that when the, the best teams play against him there's maybe more focus on him or do you actually think that... Or maybe they've just got good no, enough defenders to handle him. I don't know. Because when the best teams play against him, the best teams have got better defenders. Yeah. No disrespect to your West Ham's, but, you know, you come up against, like, Virgil van Dijk and top-notch defenders who can handle... If they've got the pace, you can handle Haaland. If you've got pace, you can match him with that. Strength, you can match him with that then you're not going to have to worry about trickery. He's not going to do three step overs like a Ronaldo or a Messi. He's not going to do that. He's not going to beat you in that way. If the ball drops him in that box, you better be close because otherwise it's going in your top corner. Yeah. So when he's playing against better teams, better defenders, we've seen him, like I said, many, many a times, very quiet, coming he's, off a pitch, losing the game and probably only touched the, touched the ball five times. If he stays in this country, yeah. even for a decade of his career, he, he's smashing every record there is. And then we would be saying, yeah, of course, he's the greatest Premier League striker of all time. Obviously, he hasn't done it yet. Mm. It's, hard, no, it's, it's hard to make an argument for he's, him he's not doing that. He's going to smash every record. There's no, there's no doubt about it. He's going to smash records left, right and centre. I'm going to play a little game with you then. Okay. It's winner stays on. It's a very simple game. Okay. Yeah. You, uh, choose, I know. you choose a player that you think has been a better Premier League striker, right? As in an player. overall player? player. Yeah, yeah. yeah, okay. Um, Ready? Yep. Haaland or Jermaine Defoe? Haaland. Haaland or Robbie Fowler? Oh, fuck. Haaland. Sorry, Robbie. Haaland or Ian Wright? Haaland. Haaland or Sergio Aguero? Oh, can I just go on player? Forget goals, let's <laughs> get on player. Aguero. Aguero, yeah. He's a better player. Aguero or Kane? Oh. Winner stays on Aguero or Kane? Kane, no, Aguero, Aguero, because Kane does not do it in big games. Aguero or Torres? Oh, Torres didn't do it too long, so Aguero, he done it 10 years solid. Aguero or Michael Owen? Aguero. Aguero or Luis Suarez? <sighs> I'm not being biased, I, I can't do it. This is pure bias, Aguero. Aguero, okay. <laughs> Aguero or Andrew Cole? Aguero. Aguero, yeah? Head of Coley. Aguero or Wayne Rooney? I don't want to play this game anymore. (laughs) (laughs) Aguero or Rooney? Um, Aguero. Aguero, yeah? Yeah. Aguero or Shearer? I'm just thinking of player. I just, Aguero had it all. He was just Aguero. Aguero had an Alan Shearer as a player. Yeah. Final one: Aguero or Henri? Henri. <laughs> <laughs> Thierry Henri takes it. I had, a, I had a feeling you'd be saying that. Well, listen, Erling Haaland doing fantastically well. Um, we'll talk about Arsenal next because I think he's a big part of why maybe the mood isn't so great around the Emirates after this weekend. You're listening to Kickoff on Talksport with Labricks. It's 18 plus. Be gambleaware.org. On AM, on DAB, via the Talksport app, and on your smart speaker. Talksport.